Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Band. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What's that, darling? We've been invited to visit King and Queen Marigold this evening. Oh, dear. King and Queen Marigold are boring and snooty. They always make me feel like a country bumpkin. So why are we visiting them? Because they invited us, and I didn't know how to say no. I'm good at that sort of thing. Leave it with me. Hello. Queen Marigold, King Thistle here. I'm terribly sorry. But Queen Thistle and I can't come tonight. Oh, no. We were so looking forward to seeing you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But tonight we're going to, um, uh, a music concert. What kind of music? Uh, um, elf music. Elf music? Oh, I don't believe I've heard of elf music. Oh, uh, yes. It's rather good, actually. Oh, King Marigold and I love Good music. Ah, uh, I know. We'll come to you. Oh. See you tonight. Toodle pip. Oh. <coughs> Everything all right, darling? There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? We're not visiting King and Queen Marigold. Hooray! So, what's the bad news? They're coming to see us instead. Oh no! And they're expecting a concert of elf music. What? And I've, um, told them that elf music sounds good. Oh, but the elf band sound terrible. They're the only elf music we've got. They're an embarrassment. They don't sound that bad. The last time they played, you said it was disgusting. Well, maybe they've got better. Nanny! Summon the elf band. Yes, Your Majesty. The elf band at your service, Your Majesty. Wise old elf, we have some very important guests coming to visit. King and Queen Marigold. They are very boring and snooty. And they want to hear some elf music. Have you been practising? No, Your Majesty. You told us to never, ever play music again. I see. Well, you can play for us now. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa, 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 oompa. Interesting. That was awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly, but I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes! Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. <laughs> what a charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That 
That's that sorted. See you later. Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Your instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> and this is the blotto horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa, 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 oompa. Right, enough of that. Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 oompa. Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. That's much better. Yes, it's charming. But I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things. And the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine... Elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> A fantastic performance! 
How exciting! A triumph, King Thistle! Have you ever considered teaching music? Ah, well, uh. Let's dance! King and Queen Marigold are not boring at all. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Ant Hill. Ah, oh, what a lovely day for a royal fairy picnic. Nanny Plum, get the magic picnic basket ready. Uh, I can't, Your Majesty. Why not? The magic picnic basket has disappeared. You mean you lost it? Things don't just disappear. Whoa! Where's my chair gone? Nanny, I can't find my wand. There. One piano to deliver to the king. Ben, are you ready? Coming, Dad. Come on, Ben. We've got this piano to deliver to the little castle. I don't want to be late. That's right, Ben. Elves are never late. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> oh, where's my horn? Ben, you must look after your things. A good elf never loses their things. Oh, where's my piano gone? What's happening? Oi! That's our TV! Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know! Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum, do something! OK, let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh... Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No. The Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. There's my horn! <laughs> There's my wand! The ants are taking all our things. Yes, and ours too. Where are they taking it? Down to the queen ant. Nanny, I command you to have a word with this queen ant. What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff. I would, Your Majesty, but I can't speak ant. It's one of the more difficult insect languages, along with centipede. What we need is someone who can speak ant. Gaston! Ah, oh, good. Ladybirds can speak ant. <gasps> so Gaston can be your ant translator. Down you go, Nanny. Can Ben and I go too? Yes, but stay close to Nanny Plum so she can keep you safe. Hooray! I'll go too, to keep Nanny Plum safe. And I'll go, too, to keep Mr Elf safe. Uh, these tunnels could go very deep, you know. How deep? Do they go to the centre of the earth? I hope not. My feet are tired enough already. Ooh. This way. It 
would be very easy to get lost in these tunnels. It's a maze. I hope we remember how to get out. Don't worry. I know how to get through mazes. You take every first turning down and every third turning up. And that gets you through any maze. Oh, it's a dead end. Or is it every second turn to the left? Oh, are we lost, Mr. Elf? Um. <laughs> What's that sound? <laughs> ah! Ants! <laughs> That's lucky. They can show us where the Queen Ant is. Gaston, say, take us to your leader. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Gaston says. The ants will give us a lift. Cool! Yee-haw! Giddy up, giddy up! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> ah, my tummy! This is fun! <laughs> this must be where the queen ant lives. Ooh! Oh, is that the Queen? Uh, yes. She's, um, big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt's nurse. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr Elf. I'm Mrs Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. <laughs> and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh. <sighs> Goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <laughs> But the big people haven't had a picnic for ages. So the ants have to eat any old rubbish they can find. That's not rubbish. It's a fine musical instrument. I'm delivering it to the king. It's not good to eat musical instruments. Yes, Ben. She's obviously very stupid. <laughs> Gaston, don't translate that. Uh, when I said you are very stupid, I meant you are very clever. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <laughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <laughs> Jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly! Jelly! A little bit more! <laughs> Nanny! They all want jelly! Goodness me! We'll be here all day! I just have to make a lot more! No, no Nanny, Nanny Plum! More! 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 Can 
hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! <gasps> Jerry Fudd! <laughs> I've got my horn back. I've got my wand back. And the ants have got all the jelly they can eat. <laughs> the piano's taken a bit of a bashing. Oh, oh, I'm glad that's not my piano. Actually, Your Majesty, it is your piano. I was just delivering it to you. Oh. It's OK, Daddy. It sounds lovely. As long as you only play tunes with high notes. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Hello, Holly. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hi, Barnaby. Hi, Ben. Something very exciting is happening. What's that? My uncle Redbeard is returning from the sea today. He's an elf pirate. Wow, a pirate. We're going to meet him at the river. Do you want to come along, Holly? Nanny Plum, can we go and meet the elf pirate? Why not? Hi, Dad. Oh, hello, Barnaby. Is Uncle Redbeard here? That's him now. Yo ho ho! Wow! Anchors away! Shiver me timbers! If it ain't me nephew Barnaby! <laughs> These are my friends, Ben and Holly. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Redbeard. Ha <laughs> A pleasure, me hearties. And I'm Nanny Plum. A plum is a sweet fruit indeed. The honour is all mine, Missy. Oh! <laughs> For I am Redbeard, the elf pirate! <laughs> Hello, Fred. Hello, Nigel. Uncle, what was it like being a pirate on the sea? It were a strange life for an elf. Long days staring at the sea, looking for boats. No one to keep me company except Holly. Holly? Yes, me faithful parrot. Bah! This is Holly. Ooh. Peace is right. She alone was my companion as we sailed through the endless waters. Peace of the night! The conversation must have been riveting. Peace of the night! Uh, were you an evil, nasty, bad pirate? Well, no. The thing is, it's quite hard to be a pirate when you're as small as an elf. All the other boats are so big. <laughs> oh. So you didn't do any piratey things at all? Of course I did! What would any self-respecting pirate be without treasure? Ooh! <laughs> and here's me treasure map. Wow. wow! Now then, somewhere on this map is the hidden treasure. It's a map of the Little Kingdom. Aye, but that's just the start, Miss Shipmates. There'll be a big search with lots of clues. There's no need for a big search and a lot of old fuss. I can magic you some treasure right here. Abracadabra. No, that's cheating. Yes, that's true, Nanny Plum. It's not as exciting. All right. Just trying to save a bit of time. Hmm. 
There's an X in the meadow. Is that where the treasure is? There's only one way to find out. To the meadow! Wait! We may need a spade. Pirate treasure is often buried in the ground. Ooh! <laughs> it's Fleur and Strawberry. Hello, everyone. Hello, me hearties. I'm Redbeard the Elf Pirate. And this is me friend Polly. Peace of the night! Ooh! We're looking for hidden treasure. Wow! Aha! There's a riddle on the back of the map. What does it say? Roses are large, the sky is big. Mix them together and you'll know where to dig. Oh! Hmm, that's confusing. Roses are large. And the sky is big. But how do you mix them together? It can't be done. It's silly. That's why it's a riddle, me lovely. It's a puzzle you have to solve. The roses are red and the sky is blue. Mix them together and you get purple. It must be buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good, very clever. Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves! Dig ho! Dig, dig ho! Dig, 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 dig! Dig ho! Dig, dig ho! Dig, dig! Oh! What's that? It's another map! That's right! You can't just find the treasure with one clue! Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid! Ugh! The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> 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 Hello, Gaston. <laughs> we think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago, probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Peace of the night. Oh, goodness me. Daddy, we're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lift up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me. Oh, we're back where we started.
sorted. Where is the treasure? Uncle, what does the riddle say? Ahem. Up and down and side to side, it's inside this thing I really hide. The ship goes up and down. And it goes side to side. Yes, yes the, the ship. ship! So that's where the treasure is. That's right. You worked it out. Here it is, me hearties. Oh! Thanks for your help in finding me treasure. But we're back where we started, and the treasure was here all the time. But didn't we have fun? Aye, Captain Redbeard. I certainly enjoyed it. I suppose it was fun, in a way. Fun is what it's all about when you're an elf pirate. And I'm an elf pirate! <laughs> <laughs> and now... I must return to the distant waters. Goodbye, Uncle Redbeard. Goodbye, Barnaby. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Hoist the mainsail, Polly. Weigh anchor. Scrub the decks. Mark, he's in sight. Let's get the ship underway. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a pirate. Aha! Me too! And me! And me! <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing me again! Don't forget the name! Redbeard! The Elf Pirate! Peace of the night! Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the frog pond. Tadpoles. For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho, oh, ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Ooh. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh. we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now... Who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> da da dum, do da di da, da da la la. Da dum di da, da la la di da da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me, frog spawn. You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. 
Good night, Mummy. Morning time. <laughs> Good morning, Frog Spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow! I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh! They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. Morning time! <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles! <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs! Wow! That's amazing! Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. Ooh! Mummy! I want to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <laughs> <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? Oh, dear. I think the king has found them. Oh, where did this come from? Really? What a fuss over such a little creature. Ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, froggies, this way. <laughs> this is my ring, and these are my toys. <laughs> Crank, 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 crank. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play another game. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Roggies. <laughs> Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? <coughs> this one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye. Oh. <sighs> Do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm, they do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. 
Daddy says frogs belong in water, so let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, blush. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, froggies. Holly Thistle. Did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <coughs> Shoo. <sighs> Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done, Ben. Thank goodness they're not in the castle anymore. But, Daddy, I'll miss them. Don't worry, Princess Holly. They'll come back to the castle one day. Why? Frogs always return to the place where they hatched to lay their eggs. Oh. Yippity dee da! <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Elf Farm. Cows! This way for the Elf Farm tour. Now, children, who can tell me where carrots come from? Carrots come from the Elf Farm! Yes, Nanny Plum. Does any child know where carrots come from? Um, the Elf Farm? Very good. Hard hats on, please, and step this way. Now, what animal gives us eggs? A sheep. No, strawberry, not a sheep. A chicken. Yes, Jake, that's right. <laughs> so you see, the elf farm gives us all the food we need. What about milk? Milk comes from very big animals. Elephants? No, not elephants. Milk comes from cows, but we don't have any cows on the elf farm. So where do cows live? On the big farm. Can we go to the big farm? I want to see some cows. No, no, no. The big farm is far too dangerous for elves and fairies to visit. Really wise old elf. You are making a fuss. And what would a fairy know about animals? Fairies love animals, don't we, girls? Mm. Especially fluffy little kittens. Aww. Hmm. 
The big farm is full of big animals and big people with big feet. I've been to the big farm and it was fine. Who wants to go? Me! <laughs> Righty-ho! Come along, children. Hooray! Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, today we'll be going to the big farm to learn about cows. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if the ladybird should come with us. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. As long as he behaves himself. <laughs> Gaston likes you. Mm, charmed, I'm sure. Here we are, the big farm. Watch out for the cattle grids! What? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, remember everyone, big people have very big feet and you never know where they're going to step. With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> and we're fairies! Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us. Don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. <laughs> These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. <clears throat> the sheep said, bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means bah. It <clears throat> Sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. Wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh! A cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. 
It's okay, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. Now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. But what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no. It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look. It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! Thanks for all your help. Here, take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray! And hooray for the little fairies! And elves! Hooray! We greet to the big farm, the big farm, the big farm. We greet to the big farm to see some Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Queen Thistle's Day Off. Da da do, dum da dee do, da 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 da. I'm going to visit my sister today. Will you be all right on your own? Yes, Mummy. I'll be okay. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. We'll be fine. Yes, darling. We'll all be fine. You'll be fine. But what about Daisy and Poppy? They need looking after. Oh, Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mummy, when you're not here, the twins are always so naughty. <laughs> magicy, magicy. Uh, yes. They can be quite a handful. <laughs> what a lot of fuss about two tiny children. Just let them play. 
But don't let them do any magic. Right. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And read them a story before they go to bed. Yes. yes. Very well. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. So what are we going to do? Mummy's the only one who can handle the twins. Don't worry. Nanny will know what to do. Um, I think I've got some important things to do in the kitchen. But Nanny, aren't you going to help us look after the twins? I'm sure you, Ben and King Thistle can manage. Right. We just need to keep the twins busy. <laughs> I know. Let's play a game with them. It has to be something safe. What about building blocks? That can't go too wrong. OK. <laughs> Watch Daddy build a big tower. Magic me a tower and make it big. Ooh. Big, big. <gasps> Mummy said not to let the twins do magic. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It's easy to make blocks little again. Little, little. There, you see, Holly. Little, little. Ah, uh, Daisy, Poppy, give Daddy your wands. Little, little. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny. All clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> ah, they've made us little. Don't worry. I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da, da, dum. Do da dee da, da la la dee da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Dee da dee. Oh, I wonder what they want. <sighs> Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum. Eh? We're here. Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum, but it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby dolly! Baby dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <laughs> this is heavy. All together, push. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Mum, it's me, Ben. Oh, Ben, you sound different. Yes, we need a bit of help. Please come quick. Right-o. She's on her way. Thank goodness. I wonder what the matter can be. <laughs> Baby Plum is lots of fun. Please. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hello, Poppy. Can you tell me where the big children are? We're down here. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spell on us. And we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yes, the twins are a 
little high spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. Now, now, Daisy and Poppy. I'm sure you're not meant to fly so high. <laughs> fly so high. Fly so high. <laughs> fly high in the sky. <laughs> now, girls, put me down this instant. Poor Mrs Elf. Elves don't like flying. Looks like we need even more help. I'll call for more elves. Hello, Mr Elf speaking. Mr Elf, we've got an emergency at the little castle. Bring the elves. Bring all the elves. Right ho. <laughs> Calling all elves. Emergency at the little castle. Right ho. If there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away! And what are we? We're elves! Baby Plum is up so fun! The elves are here! What's the emergency? It's the twins! Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf! Goodness me, Mrs Elf! I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible! Oh no! The twins have made all the elves invisible! Uh, who's going to help us now? Hmm. It's very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. Good evening, Your Majesty. So... Are you telling me that I've gone away for just one day and the whole kingdom couldn't look after two little children? Uh, yes. We tried our best, Mummy. But the twins really are a bit of a handful. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it, they weren't that bad. It was rather fun, really. <laughs> yes. I'm sure if you went away again, Queen Thistle, we'd manage just fine. That's good, because I'm going to visit my sister again next week. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs>